Hey guys and ghouls, welcome back to the Cozy Ghost. I'm your host, October, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. Let's just get right back into it. So it is day 11, a Monday, so we're gonna get going. So 902 is Bofell, 803 is this one, so this is... The impressive ridgeline of the Crinkle Crag stretches across the full width of my vision. Days like today are worth being alive for. Colorful plant stones out amongst the moss. Hell yeah. George Campbell. My old man reckons there's a plant what can find pots of gold buried underground. Don't know what it's called, but I bet you do. Tell you what, when I'm rich, I'll throw a share of the gold your way. Weeping Bell. Again, I know this is said in England. I just think my accents are funnier. Uh, Weeping Bell. Red flowers, soft as golden light. That's right. So this is Weeping Bell. Okay. So this is yellow. Perfect. And it's Alfred. I have a task for you that would greatly aid the seeds of redemption. One of the dryers in town, and we know he's paid you a visit already. No doubt feeding his habit. All right, that's rude. We suspect he's here to hunt the Dendru. If he returns, give him some of this. If he will make a- He will make a worthy sacrifice to the Dendru? Let's help him on his way? Nuh uh, baby. Nuh uh. I am not killing this guy. He has been nothing but nice to me. You asshole. Amos Duncan. What can I do for you? I'm heading out on the road again, but before I leave, I wanted to store some valuables in a safe. I don't trust myself to remember the combination, and I certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it. This is where you come in. Surely you'll have some- you've got something up your sleeve for me. Whoa, wait a minute. I'm gonna give him ba Baylock's elixir. That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? I just gave him- okay, whatever. Mary Holmes. I'm looking for something specific, a very unusual looking fungus that takes me back to my childhood with its wonderful smoky smell. Smoky smell? Hold on, babes. Give me a second. No. No. Smells rotten. Gray sand fire. Is Grey Sandfire a thing? Like. Okay. Yay! I did it. I didn't know it was a fungus. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I'd be looking for right about now, but you know, never hurts to try. Tibbe, Darn Crag, Stone Circle. Where haven't I gone? Have I gone to Blackcomb? Havrig, Rydal Cave. A large dark pool sits in the belly of the cavernous opening of Rydal Cave. I suppress a shudder at the thought of the monsters that could lurk beneath its serene surface. Simone. Oh goodness, Hellbore, you haven't been getting enough food. That's terrible. Whatever will become of you. My mother's had me looking into this servant creature for you, but I'm afraid I've not been getting anywhere. It's strange. I'm sure I've seen some reference to it before, but I'm drawing a blank where I try to find anything. I think Lord Fremont's archives would be a good place to look. I was going to post this to you, but I was in town anyway, so I thought I'd drop it off in person. That and sneak in some Hellbore hugs. I've not been getting anywhere looking through my collections in Ambleside for any mention of the servant, but Lord Fremont's archives at Muncaster are home to many ancient and esoteric scrolls covering a wide variety of subjects. It might be worth a visit. Where? Muncaster. Muncaster Castle. I follow Fremont's mound service deep into the vaults of the castle. Two hours later and I have still found no mention of the servant. On the verge of giving up a name grabs my attention. The Woken Dendru. Didn't Verona say that she, that was another name for the servant? 
The Woken Dendru is loyal to the summoner who becomes its master and can bend its terrible power to their will. This servant is assumed to be immortal since it has no known vulnerabilities, but that does not mean that it cannot be defeated. Many hundreds of years ago, a site of ritual importance was created near Black Comb. To the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak in the Dendru was ousted from this world. Unfortunately, although we know that five, five plants were required for the ritual, the specific plants are not known. Uh, I think I know the plants. <laughs> Nora would please. I think it's the only thing that can keep me from nodding off on the night shift. Yes, sir. Norwood. Bit of a bite of the crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over the face, an unpleasant sensation accompanied by sharp focus. It is claimed that Norwood releases spores that are invisible to the naked eye, showing up only under unnatural light. Roots. Roots. What do you what? Do I have it? Oh. Aha! That's cool. I wouldn't have gotten that. So that's Norwood. Where are my labels? Where are my labels? Aha. Oh, we're closed for the day already. Okay. Shit. I can explore, but what would I be exploring? Oh, the Great Oak. Black Home. South of Black Home. Tomb of the Hunter. Ah, the Great Oak. A huge tree stands before me, impossibly tall and wide, bigger than... Okay, whatever. End the day. The first letter of the Latin name of a plant known as Golden Light, the number of petals on a lucky cavalia flower. When her chance finally came, she did not hesitate even for a moment. Afterwards, when the Arda was dead, she felt only elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the books, she had what she needed. This is a full moon. <gasps> Day 12, Tuesday. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, do everything you love. Like, subscribe, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!